As they say around here, keep Austin weird. They're going to keep it electric today inside Daryl K. Royal Texas Memorial Stadium, home to the Longhorns. Coaches like to say no game is more important than any other. But when you have a couple of top 10 teams ready to square off, yeah, that one carries a little more weight. As we'll see the number one team in the country, the Georgia Bulldogs, taking on the third-ranked team in the land, the Texas Longhorns. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. Georgia likely to kick it deep to get things started. Texas. Caught inside the 20, chance for a good return. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25, he's brought down at the 26. A first down for the offense. Used to play fake, now to throw. With the catch, it's Baxter. Who smashes through the tackle. Put it right on him, sweet play, good pickup, and they'll move the chain for the first down. And that's why this guy is such a weapon in this offense, because you don't have to throw it far downfield. Just get the ball in his hands. He catches it close to the line of scrimmage, but look what he was able to do after the catch. He gets an explosive play for this offense. Looking for a gap. It's Baxter. Ran through the contact. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Fires to the tight end. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. And that's why play action is going to be big in this game. You saw how it just freezed the second level of that defense just for a second and allowed the tight end to work himself vertically down the field. But how about this guy after the catch, right? So hard to bring down. What a weapon. The Longhorns have it with a first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Just a short pass to the tight end. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. That throw and catch, a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback to get stuck on a particular target, isn't it, David? Yep, that's exactly right. Find the guy who's open, because you got so many guys. Oh, the ball squirts out. Once that ball was loose, offense didn't have a chance. Defenders everywhere. It's a turnover. As a defender, you dream about those big hits. You, you work hard on it in practice, closing space, getting close, and just sticking that guy and causing the fumble. He'll keep it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They're trying to go option. They're trying to put that defensive end in a bind, but he's just way too athletic, and he guessed right. The quarterback was keeping the ball. He knew it and was able to make the tackle in the backfield. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. This pass rush is serious, man. When you watch them on film, they do a nice job in the back end, taking away all the throws downfield. He's trying to get to his check down, but that pressure gets to him, and they hit force the incomplete. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting up field. You're under pressure. You don't have timing. And as a result now, fourth down. Georgia sent out the punt team. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. He just wanted to get it out of there from his end zone. And they'll mark the spot on this one just outside the 40-yard line. 
And these punt returners only get so many opportunities to try to make plays, and do they want to make them? So much space back there when you put them to football. But the thing is, look at all these guys flying down the field. All the speed on the field for that punt coverage team. And you can tell they caught up with them and forced the punt. Movement here from the tight end. Off the play fake on first down to throw. He fires it out to the right. He throws back across his body, and it's picked off. And he's brought down after the pick, but not before putting his offense in business. When you get that quarterback, and he starts to leak outside the pocket like that and roll, you roll with him. Those linebackers are supposed to move and shift with him, start to take away the field towards the sideline, because think about it. He's not going to throw it back across his body. The defense read it well, moved with the rollout, made the big play. He'll start this drive firing. And the sack all the way back at the five. Timeout called by the defense is their first of the half as they'll go to the sideline and try to make adjustments. They've got it at the 20 on second and five. They'll leave it with the lone back. Found some space and crosses the 10 out to the 11. It's a pickup of six. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that run. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Complete and looking for enough for the first down. Third down is money down. You've got to find a way to execute and get the ball out, get it to your playmakers. That was the opposite of that. They got it to their playmakers, and they got absolutely nowhere lost. Snap to the up man. It's a fake. Oh, they are all over him. That never had a chance, and the fake blows up in their face. And the Longhorns trying to pay off the threat on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And after the stop, that is going to put a bow on this first quarter. They'll try to open this quarter by sticking it in the end zone here. The run up the middle, looking for the score. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The Longhorns come to the line in the hurry up. Needs to get it in the end zone on third and goal. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? It's fourth down, and this offense is going to stay on the field and keep the kicker on the sidelines. The give to the tailback. And he'll finish the run in the end zone. Touchdown, Texas! They're bellowing out Texas fight right now as the horns are ready after that touchdown drive. And what a great way to start. Get the crowd jacked up. When you do something good like this early, that burnt orange is going absolutely bananas in the stands. And the rest of the game, the defense, the special team, everybody feeds off their great energy. He's not going to get in. The two-point conversion attempt is no good, and the lead remains at six. Texas, six, Georgia, Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Here's the return from inside his tent. And the returner runs out of real estate as he goes down. Take over. First 
And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. Looking for room. It's Etienne. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Everybody talks about DBs. They talk about dropping in coverage and not being physical. <laughs> that DB begs to differ. Great tackle coming up, playing physical like a linebacker. On the run, it's Beck. Quick strike complete. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. That's an absolute strike right there. Giving me some Stetson Bennett vibes, some Aaron Murray vibes, even Matthew Stafford with the arm talent on that throw. I'll tell you, they can attack any spot of the field in the passing game because of this guy's talent. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we have ourselves a ball game, and they have a chance to take the lead here before the half. Quarterback checking off. To the air on first down. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. They'll throw again after the incompletion. He'll turn it loose out to the right. And the pass is complete. He's got it at the 20. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. And guys, how much better does it feel if you go to that locker room with a lead? They have a chance to do it here. A first down run in the red zone. And he'll take it in. Touchdown, dogs! Getting set for the point after. And they move on top with the extra point, 7-6. to six. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they closed the deal, pushing their way inches into the end zone. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And it's caught from inside the 20, and here he comes. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. The Longhorn sending the offense back onto the field. That last drive, really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball down here. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. Now on second down after the incompletion. Looking for a man. It's yours. Fires to the middle. He makes a catch. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Fox stops momentarily for the first down. They'll hurry to the line. They'll throw it on first down. Caught in the backfield. It's golden. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Well, that receiver's looking at his teammates like, guys, what's up? You're not going to block for me on the screen? Seriously? I, mean, I just lost yards on a screenplay. How does that happen? He's going to pass on second down. Caught in the backfield. It's back. They make the stop after the catch. and still some work to do to pick up that first down. They'll hurry to the line here to try to get off that third down play. Power football with the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Yeah, that's a really good job by the defense, because when you get in that third and medium area, listen, you've got to be worried about the run and the pass. Did a good job playing both, got it stopped, now forcing a fourth down. Ready, 
This offense has already converted once on fourth down. Can they do it again? He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Makes the catch. It's Bolden. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. They convert the fourth down, but back to the line with no time to waste. Looking to move it through the air. Throws to the tight end. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. Well, the quarterback knew he wanted to go to his tight end on that play. He's a big physical target, but it was the hit on the play that forced the incompletion. After the incompletion, they go back up top. Got it set up on the outside. They ripped off seven on that one. Now a third down and three. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Looking to throw at Ewers. He looks that one in nicely. Ripping off a good chunk inside the 25, and they're set up with a first down. He's looking to throw it. Firing to the end zone. Intercepted. Going the other way, and he's got room. And he's dragged down after the interception, and that's how we'll close out the first half. And the Longhorns will line up to kick off and start the second half. Texas. He'll start the return inside his five. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. And in a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. You got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Palmer, now use it against them. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to get the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space, see if a dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trend. Defense trying to keep this offense from getting a line on who to block. Tosses it incomplete. Another incompletion, and I've said that a lot, and these teams are just struggling. I mean, the offense just doesn't know what to do. Nothing's working, ground game, throw game. It's kind of been a rock fight on both sides. Back to throw, it's back. Quickly out to the tight end. And more yards after contact. And gang tackling on this dude is a good idea. They needed it, but he still got the first down. The Bulldogs come to the line with a new set of downs. He'll do it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, they're trying to go option, but the linebacker shows his open field tackling ability and also his recognition. He expected the quarterback to keep it, went after and was able to make the tackle for loss. Keeps it on the bootleg. Feeling some heat. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't not free for a fumble. And, uh, and that was good defense again, and unfortunately, we've been saying that all game long. Really, really good defense. Or, listen, you can spin on the other side. This offense has really been bad. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. Snagged in the middle, it's dealt. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Coming into this one, I thought this guy was going to be a monster. He's going to put up huge numbers. We know this is a big part of the offense week in, week out. The defense has done a great job clamping down on him. That is only his second catch so far in this game. 
Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Now a fair catch is called for and made just shy of midfield. the Texas offense back on the field. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, just feels like they just haven't been as physical. And for this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing that Get that one positive play, and then maybe you get those juices going, and something can start to build. Got the quick pass. Bust through behind his pad. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. He built this offense around finding mismatches and just get the ball to the back and let him do his thing. Yeah, it didn't have to be long down the field. Like it threw it right near the line of scrimmage, but you know I got a guy, when he gets in space, he can make big plays happen. Nice decision by the QB. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The Longhorns headed quickly to the line. Trying play action. Flushed out of the pocket. Trying to escape and get it himself. At the 20, he's got space. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with the first down. It's just so hard to stop. There is no rhyme. There is no reason. He just scrambles around, makes people miss, and the next thing you know, you look up and he's 20, 30 yards down the field. There's nothing you can do about it. Picked up maybe a yard. It's down at the 16. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. To the air. It's Ewers. He finds his man. Touchdown, Longhorn! And with that, they've got the lead here in the second half. And I love the decision by the quarterback finding his playmaker getting him the football quickly so that he can make something happen after the play and get six. Now a two-point conversion attempt coming up. It's complete on the right side. He finds the end zone for the two, and now the lead is seven. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they close the deal with a 16-yard throw for the touchdown. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. He wisely lets that one bounce through the back of the end zone, and they'll take over at the 25. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. What a tremendous job in coverage by that DB. He just stayed in the receiver's hip pocket, then able to locate the football and swat it away. They move the tight end all over. The play action fake. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Pressure got to the QB that time. He was trying to find his check down out of the backfield, but the hit forced the incompletion. They come to the line, facing third and long from the 25. 
quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. Looking to throw, it's back. The freshman able to get home with the sack. Down a possession here in the fourth, and they'll need to convert on this fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Can't find his man. It'll be incomplete, and that is a heartbreaker this late in the game. Man, as a defense, you're like, oh, they're going to draw us offside. They're going to draw us offside. They're not going to go for it. They go for it, and you get the big stop. You've set your offense up. You've turned the momentum. This defense should be feeling really good about themselves. Noses his way forward, maybe gets one. They'll mark it at the 18. And this is a perfect situation. This is a situation, if you asked me to be in before the game, the coaches would have been in heaven. I got the football. I got the lead on their side of the field. Nice gain on first down. Same exact script. Do it again. Run the football. Run the clock. Let that thing tick down. And if we add points, we add points. Skips away from pressure. Fires into the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Texas. Well, he's a matchup nightmare because of his size and his speed. It's so difficult for defenses to defend this guy. Nice job there working the post route. Really accurate throw, and it ends up being a touchdown. They fake it, goes to the tight end. He's going to be stopped short of the goal line. The two-point attempt is no good as they are unable to extend the lead. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. The ball will make it into the end zone. No return on that one for a touchback. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Quickly to the tight end. Lowers that shoulder and delivers the blow. Gets it to the 46-yard line. First down for this offense. On the set. New set of downs after that completion. Slide 22. 29 Philly. 29 Philly. Looking to throw its back. Coming after it. And the freshman will chalk up a sack. The defense coming up big there. The sack is great, but the secondary deserves some credit, too. No doubt. When you can cover like that in the secondary and drop back in your zone and only rush a few, and you feel comfortable getting home, and they're going to get to the quarterback, that is a great feeling, and it's fun to be a defensive coordinator calling the plays. Man, the defense smells blood in the water. You can tell. They're getting to this quarterback over and over and over. They've already sacked him a couple times. They're just winning up front. They almost got another sack on that last play. Give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The coach has no choice here. The offense has to stay on the field, down multiple possessions this late. Fourth down attempt coming. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. It's incomplete, and they desperately needed to keep that drive going, and they couldn't make the connection. And that just about does it. That about puts this thing to bed. The offense, listen, they had to. They had to go for it, but... Now, defense, this is the situation when you say, I'm just going to eat clock, up by several possessions, eat clock, get out of here with the double. He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. Coming out on second down, trying to put this one away. And the defense stops him just short of the first down, maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. This is the type of play that decides games. Are you tough enough to convert third and short from the 30? They'll try to pick it up on the ground. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. The Longhorns will snap it on first and 10. They'll give it to him again. 
Yeah, and that's exactly what you want to do. Late in the ball game with the lead, establish the run, establish the physicality. And you know what helps? That clock up there, it continues to tick. So let's see if they choose to keep the ball on the ground and stay conservative and run that clock. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. He's going to look for a man on third and short. And as the ball goes to the turf, the clock has hit zero. You know, there's no real reason to panic, but if you think about it, when does panicking ever really help? But certainly this was a bitterly disappointing outcome. And you can look at a lot of different statistics, and I know we tend to overcomplicate college football these days, but guys, at the end of the day, it comes down to two very simple things. You can't turn the ball over, 